Schultz. Randy Johnson, Kerry Wood, Roger Clemens, and now Max Scherzer are the only pitchers in the history of this game to fan 20 in a game. High fly ball, right center field. Marisnik back to the triangle, long, long, long run. He won't get it. And the Red Sox walked off with the win. How do you like that? Big puppy again. David Ortiz, an extraordinary final season in the making. What a moment. And a career of extraordinary moments. He's done it again. The 2-0. Each row to right and deep. Back goes Para to the wall, and it's off the wall. 3,000 is in right field, and each row is racing for third. And he's done it. He's climbed the mountain. A triple. And he has arrived at 3,000. High fly ball, well tagged this time, and Junior going back to the track. The wall makes the leap, and Afternoon baseball now from the banks now, of the Anacostia River and Nationals Washington Park here in Washington. Today, the third and final game in this three game series between the New York Mets and the Washington Nationals. It's Nationals baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. Gio Gonzalez will do the pitching in game three of the series. What do we need to know here, HR? Well, Matt, this guy's not going to blow you away. He's a consistent major league pitcher. Look, his ERA last year a little bit over four, but he takes the baseball. And he's the guy that's going to take his lump, but he's going to keep coming back at you. And I think we'll probably see that kind of performance today. Here's Juan Ligares. His average coming into this one is just barely over 200. So he'll be looking to turn the page on a slow start here. To short. Turner fields it cleanly and he set down one away and now a chance to meet the Mets. Harold what's the key for them today. Matt have you seen this guy throw. Ooh, he is electric. What do you got to do against him. I think you got to attack him early. He's just too overpowering. His stuff is electric. He's got one of those great power arms that we'll talk about for years to come. You got to take it to him before he takes it to you. Here's the third baseman David Wright in head to head meetings with Gio Gonzalez seven hits in 27 at bats two of those hits were for home runs and he bangs it into center field for a base hit here's the left fielder Ioannis Cespedes and what a season he's having entering play leading the league in two of the three triple crown categories. Ready with the one and one. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. HR, these Nationals as they take the field here today, they were losers last time out, but still in a decent groove as they'd won four or five prior to that. And Matt, you always want to win two of the three games. I mean, today is a big game because you walk away and you start adding up those numbers in the series. You go, we won two out of three there. That's the goal for every team to win two out of three in the series. A swinging bunt to the mound. And he won't even think about second as he'll flip on to first for the sure out. Well executed to Seymour on the outside corner that time. And, and that's what you'll get a lot of with that pitch. He rolled right over. Here's Jay Bruce now. He enters play hitting down in the 240s for the year. Good lead there at second. Here's the pitch. And this one misses to Bruce as he moves out in front. It's two and one. Well, I think that's a great spot for that pitch in on the hands. It wasn't a strike, but if he can command the movement in there, he's going to be very effective in this one. High fly ball after straightaway center. Eaton is under it. And that retires the side. Mets leave one. And now the Nationals get their first opportunity. No score. Robert Gesellman gets the ball in game three of the series. Harold, what do you got? 
Well, Matt, his last outing was curious to me. That's the word I'll use is curious, because if you go five innings, you get that five and bail, right? Well, he went five innings, but then he got the loss. He just wasn't able to go further. I think he's got to give them a little more distance and be able to execute his pitches early on a little bit better in this game. A speedy Trey Turner digs in now. He brings a batting average just south of 320 into this one. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Cespedes is there. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Time now second. from our nation's capital to take a look at the Nats' starting lineup. HR, how do they send their fan base home happy here today? Well, the key to this game for me, they're facing a team that makes a lot of errors. Put the ball in play. When they're on the defensive side, you know you're struggling. You don't want the ball hit to you. So what do you do on the offensive side? Hit it to him. Put it in play. In now is Adam Eaton. He's got that average up over the 290 mark to begin play. Oh. Two and one. These Mets herald as they take the field here today. They come in looking to make it two in a row as they were winners last time out. And Matt, you know, you look at the split right now, but they lost the first game one to second one. So you're looking at momentum is on their side. That's why I'm kind of leaning towards them here in the third game. Pro gets him two down. Batting third, second baseman. Here's Daniel Murphy Daniel. now. First cuts Murphy. for him here with the bases open and two away. Goes the other way, and this is in the air out to left. And that's in there, base hit. So a two out single there as we check out the teams with the highest batting averages batting here in the first month of the season. And we can see that the Nationals are currently right on top of the NL in that department. Digging in, Bryce Harper hitting just a bit over the Mendoza line on the year. Two out with the man at first. Sent in the air out to straightaway center. Ligares is under it. And that's the third out. Second inning of coming from our nation's capital with no score. Here's Neil Walker. He too had three knocks in yesterday's win. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. And he'll get over to me. Oh, it kicks off his glove. How did he do that? The 0-2 once more. Grounded to third. Oh, what a stop on the slide. He's out. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera. He enters this one sitting right on the Mendoza line at an even 200. The 1 1 home to Cabrera. And there's ball two now. Sometimes it can be difficult for a pitcher. You're facing a guy that's not known to be a big stick in the lineup. Sometimes the toughest thing is to be aggressive and throw strikes. Can't find the zone there, and it's three and one. Wilmer Flores will be next. Ready on three and one. Here's the pitch. Looking at strike two, a fastball that catches the inside corner. Well, time to look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Dave Lawrence. Now, Matt, Dave Lawrence can remind you a lot of James Kingsley. He comes from that old school of you hit your spots, he's going to call. He has a tendency to call one side of the plate a little bit more than the other. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out as Dribble Cabrera goes down for out number two in the top half. Standing in now, Wilmer Flores. Laid off as it caught the inside corner in head-to-head -head meetings with Gio Gonzalez. He's got two hits in 17 at-bats. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. Here's a high pop-up calling for it. Lind makes the catch and that'll retire the side. Down in order go the Mets. We'll go to
to the bottom of the second. No score. In now is Anthony Rendon. He's hitting in the 270s on the season coming into this one. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. And this is fouled back and out of play. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first out. All right, time for the majestic defensive alignment for the Mets. And I'm looking down there at the catcher, Travis Darno. The thing about Travis, not a big guy, and he's had some injuries along the way. But if he can stay healthy, he's got a great pitching staff to catch. Here's Adam Lind. He appeared as a pinch hitter in yesterday's contest. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. Well, it looks like he tried to waste one and get him to chase it. He didn't, but you're still sitting pretty. Now you're one and two, and you showed him the high fastball. Swing and a liner, but this is foul near the seats. He'll try again, one, two. To two balls and two strikes now. Bottom of the second here with no score. Line drive to center field, and that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. I like it. Hard line drive on the fastball, hit off the fastball, and good things happen. Seven, left fielder, Ryan Zimmerman. Here's Ryan Zimmerman now. He's hit the ground running right out of spring training, entering this one with a batting average over 300. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 0-2 pitch. A swing and a miss. He offered it a ball way outside the strike zone for out number two. In a double play situation, you kind of expect most pitches to be down in the zone, hoping for a ground ball. So that was an interesting pitch selection to go up in the zone. I think he caught him off guard a little bit. There's a breaking ball over the outer half. This guy's got a tremendous curveball. He just froze the hitter right there. Did you see that? A runner on first with two away. And a good take there. Close, but it's two and two. Working for the punch out and the offering. Swing and a liner, but that's a foul ball. Here's the two two. The short hit hard. He'll go the short way to Walker at second for the force, and that ends the inning. Nationals leave one. We'll move to the third with no score. Old glory blowing in the wind as we are back for the top of the third from the home of the Nats. Here's the catcher Travis Darno. Day off for him yesterday but back out there for this one. From the windup the one one pitch. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. One and two, here it comes. Here's a swing and a high pop up. Rendon on the move. He's got it one away. So one gone now as we give you a look at where these two teams find themselves entering play in the National League's Eastern Division race. Coming to the plate now, Robert Gesellman. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Third inning, no score to this point. And he misses two and one. Well, these are just extra pitches that are just going to add to your pitch count. He's not trying to work around him, and no reason to, but sometimes you just lose the strike zone for no apparent reason. Two and two. Two and two count. Here it comes. Now a swing and a miss here as he's down on strikes. So it's two up, two down to begin the third. Nice two seam fastball there. You don't usually see a lot of swings and misses with that pitch unless it's really moving. So that one must have had some real good late life. In now, Juan Ligares. Down the third baseline. 
Scooped up on the backhand. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Mets go down one, two, three. Home half of the third coming up. No score. So coming to the plate, Gio Gonzalez. As we move on to the bottom of inning number three. One and one, here it comes. A wave and a miss, a tick behind a good fastball. What a great pitch. When you have the velocity to throw a ball by somebody up there in the zone, I don't know why guys don't use it more. And he got him. That's a pretty sad attempt at hitting a baseball right there. No doubt he was completely fooled because that was a curveball, and it looked like he was late on a curveball. That tells me he gave up on it right till the very end, and obviously there was nothing he could do at that point. Squared that one up just a little late. Oh, that's one he's going to want back right there. A fastball right in your wheelhouse, and you foul it off. And another foul ball. Well, I think he's trying to get that two-strike fastball out of the zone. Just caught too much of the plate right there. Fortunately, he fouled it off instead of putting it in the seats. Another one sent foul. Another one two delivery. And that one stayed too low apparently. Well you talk about fighting. He's fouling balls off fouling them off in a one two count. He finally took a ball right there. I wonder if he feels more confident or he wants to keep swinging. Oh and this is swung on and missed four strikeouts already and that's out number two. That's center fielder number two stepping Adam in and ready for Eaton. another shot Adam Eaton first two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out so we'll see if he can fare any better no contact there and it's one and two look Matt he's done a nice job getting those first two outs I mean look this is a good hitting team and now you got the two hitter coming to the middle of the order but you can limit the damage by getting those first two outs I think he's limited the damage so far this inning looking to set down the side on strikes here it comes and he struck him out so a fine inning here as he strikes out this side in order three up three down three strikeouts not too shabby we're back with more on a Sunday afternoon following this digging in for his second at bat David Wright as we begin the top of the fourth. Here's the one and one delivery. A fastball right over the outside corner. Still all zeros in the run column here in the fourth inning. Dan, does this continue or does somebody score here? I think this continues for a while, Matt. Both of these pitchers are throwing very well, throwing strikes, having good command of their off speed pitches. This is going to be one of those low scoring affairs. Set to deal on two and two. Breaking ball swung on in the dirt. And the throw is there to record the first down. Here's your one assessment. It's 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. And this is fouled back and out of play. Pitch on the way. Grounded down the third baseline, and that finds its way through for a base hit. Matt, that's a big base hit. I want to see now, can he get guys now out batting. from the stretch? He retired right a lot of guys in a Jay row in that windup. Now he's in the stretch. Let's see if they can get to him out of the stretch. Stepping in now, Jay Bruce. Takes a look at a change up there and it's a ball and two strikes now can't say he's tickling around the zone those last two pitches were pretty much grooved right down the middle but it didn't bite him I'm trying to pick up that outside corner but this misses and it's back to even at two balls and two strikes a two and two count here's the pitch a fastball down near the shoe tops. 
hey not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion three two count you send the runner and if it's a bad pitch it's ball four runner goes for second swing and a miss strike three the throw way late and he's in there easily at second they ran the risk of a strike him out throw him out play there but that was a good job of getting in there successfully on three and two there's a decent chance the hitter puts the ball in place so it can be a good time to be aggressive just like that. Into the box Neil Walker a swing and a drive sent out toward the gap back goes Harper still ranging back and that one is out of here a two run shot that gives them the lead. So it's a two run shot to right center home run number five on the year as the Mets are out in front now two to nothing. Wow talk about a guy getting hot right hits a bomb hit one yesterday usually when he gets hot he starts to hit them in bunches and this could be the beginning of a very very good hot streak. Standing in now as Dribble Cabrera. Chopped foul wide of first. Now another 0 2. And a neck high fastball that time. Two runs, three hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. Tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first and no swing. It's ball two. Now Cabrera awaits the 2 2. Hit on the ground to third. Throw to first in plenty of time and the side is retired. But the Mets do strike for two, both coming on this two run home run. Bottom of the fourth coming up. It's now 2 0 New York. Here's Daniel Murphy now. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How did they get to him here? I'm not sure Matt that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. Chopped weakly to the left. Throw by right is in time for out number one. Right fielder number 34. Here's Bryce Harper now. He's 0 for 1 thus far. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. A high fastball is in there. He might want that pitch back up and away. That's a pitch you can really drive if you have the right approach towards that opposite field gap. And that's going to be high 2 and 2 now. One out, nobody on. And that's taken high for a ball that's full now. Three and two. Three two counts are usually a time to challenge the hitter, but I think he'll be careful here. Shoot for the corner, and if you miss and you walk him, so what? That's better than him putting one in the seats. The payoff pitch one more time. On the ground, softly towards second. Fielded cleanly by Walker. And he'll whip this one over to first, and he gets his man for the second out. The third baseman, number six, Anthony Rendon. Riding in once again, Anthony Rendon comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Hey. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. No runs, two hits, one error thus far for the Nationals. Ball two. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Grounder down the line at third. And now a jump throw against his body. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Three up, three down for Washington. They're still down. It's 2 0. Now batting, Wilmer Flores. 
0 for 1 for him here in this one. Here's the one and one delivery. Swinging a soft liner. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. Now batting, Captain. Travis Ready for another Darno. chance, Travis Darno. He's 0 for 1 thus far. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. That's his first base hit, making one for two now. Well, that's the sixth game he's hit in. He's swinging the bat pretty good now. That's a six-game streak. You got to start somewhere. Pay attention, people. He's getting hot. So digging in now, Robert Gesellman comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. And some action out in that Washington bullpen now as we see both a left-hander and a right-hander throwing. Trying to move the runner into scoring position here, but this is a foul ball. Runners on first with one down. Fun sign still on on one and two, and he gets this one down. One there. Back to Murphy, not in time, and they'll get just the one out. Ah, uh, he got the bunt down, but he didn't deaden it enough. Really good job by the first baseman to charge in and make a good throw to second to get the lead runner. Into the box now. Juan Ligares. Now a ball hit pretty well to left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And he'll just step on second for the force, and that'll do it for this half inning. When we return, we'll see Adam Lind lead things off. Home half of the fifth coming up. Mets out in front, two to nothing. Here's Adam Lind. He leads off in the bottom of the fifth as they look to break through on the scoreboard for the first time in this one. Yeah, baseball is a game of adjustments, and it's time they start making some. They don't need to change their entire approach necessarily, but now is maybe when they start thinking about ways to get the guy in the mound out of his rhythm a bit. Just got a piece up the line. Flores fields it cleanly, and he'll step on first himself for the out. The left fielder, number 11, Ryan Zimmerman. Into the box now, Ryan Zimmerman looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. And Bruce has got this one two away now. Now batting. Here's the catcher Matt Wieters now and then it seems like this starter is just dominating the game right now feels like we're seeing a lot of three up three down innings. No doubt about that Matt. Hey I've enjoyed watching him go about his business but I'm also interested to see if this offense can figure out a way to get it. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Nationals gone in order. They trail it here two to nothing. Here's the third baseman David Wright one for two on his line so far in the game. Looking to punch him out again the pitch. A swing and a drive to center field that one's got a chance Eaton going back gone to lead off the inning. So a solo shot here for David Wright. First home run of the campaign for him, and the Mets have taken a three to nothing lead. Well, he tried to sneak a fastball by him, and like they always say, you can't sneak the cheese by the rat, particularly if it's up high like that one right there. His way out to the mound now is the Washington manager. And a change is coming up as that's going to be all for Gio Gonzalez. They'll wind You're up lasting just five innings here. Didn't pitch Washington. all that poorly, yet Number he's gone nonetheless. 
Joe Nathan Joe takes Nathan. over on the mound here with nobody out in the sixth inning. Stepping in now, Joanna Cespedes. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one in his career versus this pitcher. A three for five line to show for those meetings. Nip the corner. Two and two. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Out in front of a fastball as this is ripped down the left field line. That's going to be a fair ball. Throw into second. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two base hit. As we look again at that double here, you can see that he was thinking two right out of the box. Smashed it down the line, and that was some great hustle to beat the throw to second to earn himself a double. Action now in the Washington bullpen as a right hander begins to get loose. Into the box, Jay Bruce. Now a big swing by Bruce as he lifts this one high in the air to deep right field. And this one is gone. A home run. A two-run homer for Jay Bruce. The 248th of his career. And the Mets have got it up to a 5-0 game now. Well, there's an old saying that the harder you throw, the farther it goes. How about this? Good fastball, and this ball is absolutely tattooed. See you later. Neil Walker will stand in again as we flash you back here to the fourth inning. This was a two-run home run that was definitely one of the big blows of the ball game to this point. Gets the sign. Here comes the 2 1. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? I think one of the keys, Matt, you want to try to initiate contact. The one thing you don't want to do, you don't want to run the count to three balls and two strikes. Whatever you want to throw, throw it over for a strike. Ready once again as Dribble Cabrera. His prior history versus this arm. Two hits in seven tries. Breaking ball misses the corner. Two balls and two strikes. He's ready with the 2-2 pitch. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Harper racing back at the track. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. First baseman number four. Wilmer Stepping in Flores. and ready for another shot. Wilmer Flores 0 for 2 on the afternoon so far. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. Pitch popped up. Lind is there for it. And that's the third out. So two home runs in the inning lead to three runs on the scoreboard. 9 1 and 2 scheduled to hit in the home half of the sixth. The Mets lead it 5 to nothing. And it looks like we'll see a pinch hitter here as Jason Worth begins to stretch in the on deck circle. Jason Worth. Hard hit to first. Flores has it, and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Now batting. The speedy Trey Turner digs in now. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. There's a swing and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Cespedes ranging back. He gets there and makes a fine running play the for the second fielder, out. Number two. Adam Eaton. Ready for another shot now. Adam Eaton 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Ready to deliver the full count pitch. Swing and a liner. But this is foul near the seats. Seventh pitch of the at bat coming up. 
turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Well, he got a piece of that breaking ball right there. That's the second one he's seen in a row now, and he fouled that one off. Let's see. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Three up, three down for Washington. Need to get it going soon. It's 5-0. Back here at Nationals Park getting set for the seventh inning now with the Mets out on top but first let's check out the game summary through the first six innings of baseball. Sammy Solis is on the pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Sammy Solis. Here's the catcher Travis Darno a hit in two tries so far. One one pitch is a sinker taken for a strike one and two great spot with that pitch down and away he'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep hitting that spot hit on the ground out to short and the throw to first is in time so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven how about it the pitcher Robert Gesellman digging in to try it again Robert Gesellman 0 for 2 here to start the afternoon. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Oh, that's Outside, 2 and 1. Set to deliver on 2 and 1. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. 2 and 2 count, here it comes. 3 and 2 now. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. And a swing and a miss here, so it's a quick two outs to start the seven. Boy, there's nothing like seeing a good power pitcher that has a good fastball. And what does he do? He just throws this good fastball right by, brings the express. No chance to put that ball in play. In now, Juan Ligares. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. Here it comes. Hit down the third baseline. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Down in order go the Mets, but they hold a 5 nothing lead. Riding in once again, Daniel Murphy. He's one for two in the ball game. Ready to deliver the one and two. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Well, I have to give credit to him on the mound for not letting that previous pitch right get him. He wanted 34. it, but he didn't get the call. Right. But I love how he didn't Ripper. let it affect him, and he comes right back with another good pitch and gets the punch out. Into the box now, Bryce Harper. Tried to crush that ball and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. He's been doing a nice job out there on the mound, but the deeper you get into the game, the more the hitters have seen you. This is the part of the lineup that he has to be really careful with. The next three, two. Out in front as this is pulled foul into the seats. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. This is hit the other way out toward left field. After it is Cespedes. Two down. The third baseman, number six. Anthony and now is Anthony Rendon. Rendon. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Bases are empty here with two men out. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Ligaris ranging back. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Former cover boy David Wright leads things off when we come back. It's the Mets five, and the Nationals nothing. Blake Trinan has been summoned from the now bullpen as he'll do so to start the eight. Number 45, Blake Trinan. Ready for another chance? David Wright. He homered earlier and is two for three to this point. A 
ready to deal. Here's the one one. Lays off the slider that time. Two and one. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. The two two now to right. Again he sends it out of play. Hit on the ground to third. And a leap over at first, but he comes down with his foot on the bag to record the out. The left Whew. fielder number 52. Yoenis Trying to pick things up where he left off. Yoenis Cespedes. Two for three with a double on his line so far. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Driven down the left field line. Will it stay fair? It will as it heads to the corner. A fair ball. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. When it left his bat, I thought it might squirt right foul, but it 19. hugged the line and found its Jay way into the corner. Root. Thought it might be a little bit closer play at second, but he cruised in there with relative ease. Stepping in now, Jay Bruce. Now he lifts a high pop-up. Drifting into foul territory on the right side. Lind is over and he tucks it away for the second out. Digging in the switch oh, hitter, the Neil Walker. Second and if you remember, I'm sure he Neil does. He hit a round Walker. tripper back in the fourth. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. A tough sinker on the inside corner. Two out here and a runner at second. And this is in the air down the left field line and into foul territory. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. Met strand one as they're unable to add to their 5 0 lead. Jerry Blevins is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Jerry Blevins. Digging in once again, Adam Lind. His career numbers in this matchup, he's hitless in six tries. He's set, and the 2 1 pitch. And this will be fouled away. He's set, here's the 2 2. Outside and a full count, 3 and 2. Due next, there's Ryan Zimmerman. He's set, here's the 3 and 2. Pulled toward right center field. Bruce on the run. One down. The left fielder, number 11, Ryan Zimmerman. Here's Ryan Zimmerman now. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. Faces are empty, one man out. And here's a ball lifted back toward the stands in right, so we'll try it again at 1 and 2. Ready to deliver the 1 and 2. And this is down at knee level as it's chopped foul at home plate. Here he comes again, one, two. On a good changeup, a swing and a miss, and he's set down on strikes for the second time today. Yeah, as they say, there's a hole in his swing in that location, so a good job there of exploiting that. That can be real hard for some guys to overcome when teams start figuring out what locations you just can't handle. Swing and a ball hit to the left side, and this is going to wind up a souvenir. Skied into straightaway right. Bruce has a read on it. And that ends the inning. Nationals gone in order. They can't chip into that 5 0 deficit. And here comes Dusty out toward home plate as it looks like we're going to see a double switch here. Trevor God will come on to pitch These now as he'll move into Washington. the eighth spot in the lineup on the double Batting switch the here. Derek Norris six. is into the ball Trevor game as well as he'll slide into the pitcher spot, hitting ninth, ninth spot. now on the double Number switch. Derek Norris.
Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two. Curveball that time, not even close. Now Cabrera awaits the 2-2. Two -two. And he takes ball three, so it's a full count now. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. And a good swing there as this is deep down the line in right, but this is going to wind up out of play. Ready now with the payoff pitch. Lifted in the air out to center field. Eaton is under it. One out. First baseman number four. Now to the plate, Wilmer, Wilmer Flores. Flores. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. Rounded down the third baseline. And now from the air, a jump throw. And a great athletic play to get him. Man, wow. Now batting, catcher, Travis Darno. Stepping into the box, Travis Darno. He was a ground out victim last time up. One and two, here it comes. Hit in the air to left. Zimmerman is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Nothing across here. The catcher Derek Norris is in, and he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. Hansel Robles will come on in relief now as he'll make his 10th appearance of the season. Oh, and two count. Here's the pitch. Inside, as that perhaps will back him off a bit. One and two. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And here's a ball lifted back toward the stands in right, so we'll try it again at one and two. Oh, he might have got away with one. Two strike breaking ball that ended up being in the zone. I think he probably won that out of the zone, but fortunately, he just fouled it off. Good plate discipline to lay off the slider that time, and he draws even a two and two. Swing and a miss, and that'll get a groan from the home supporters here. One away. Another strikeout for him on the mound, and boy, is it fun to watch him go about his business. Ah, no doubt, Matty. He's one of my favorites, mostly because of his stuff. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. Tries the slider to ring him up, but he lays off one and two. Ready on one and two. One, two pitch is a slider that misses two and two. Here's the pitch on two and two. High in the air out to center field. Ligares on the run, and he makes the catch for the second out. The center fielder, number two. Adam Coming to the plate Eaton. now, Adam Eaton. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. And he gets strike three called to end it here. And with that, this one is over. Hey, anytime you can win a game, let alone on the road, you have to feel really good about yourself. It's not easy going into that other team's ballpark and coming out with a win, but they did just that. nothing the final score today Robert Gesellman wins his third of the season as he finishes seven innings with only two hits allowed so that's it for us this afternoon for Harold Reynolds Dan Plezak and our entire crew I'm Matt Vaskersian you've been watching MLB the show for more log on to the show nation dot com afternoon ball game for the victorious New York Mets five runs eight hits 20, 25 years from now, you're going to want to say, I was there when Ken Griffey Jr. made his home debut. So don't forget that on Monday night. There's a drive into the gap in left center field and deep left center field, and Henderson's not going to get to it. It's off the base of the wall, and Griffey to second base in his first major league at bat, a ringing double off the 375 marker, and we have seen that all spring. Welcome to the show, Ken Griffey Jr.
Here's another drive. Deep 